Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Invin. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a zombies guide on how to turn on the power and how to pack a punch weapons. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first thing I'm showing you guys here is the round one strategy. The best weapon to use in zombies for your starting loadout is the knife if you're wanting to maximise your points. This gives you the most points possible without having to get critical hits every time, which is your headshots. Um, and just means that the rounds go very, very quickly. You can last up to about round five or six in the first room just knifing. I mean, you could do till 12, but five or six is ideal for then being able to... To turn on the power. You're then going to follow the map all the way through, opening the doors and following the waypoints down towards the power. You'll see the big red button here, you turn it on, go down, which then unlocks these terminals. One on the left here, as shown in the gameplay, and one on the opposite side to the right. Click both of these, which will unlock the Dark Aether portal. It will be labelled Anomaly on the map, and it will again come up as a star waypoint. You have now turned on the power, and this is the first step towards getting the pack punch unlocked. As soon as this Anomaly comes up, you're going to want to interact with it. You are in the room now, by the time you're in the power room, directly underneath spawn and towards behind where the power button is there is a door that has opened which leads back up to the spawn room this is going to be super useful so once you go through the dark anomaly portal you'll go back up to the stairs behind the power button into the starting room and you'll see an aether tunnel waypoint on the map there are purple crystals jutted around whilst you're in the dark aether which give you tacticals they give you lethals, they give you ammo, and they give you dark essence and zombie essence. So it is definitely worth punching these while you're on the way to get some free extra goodies. You'll see there's two tunnel locations. One here as shown on screen, which is labelled Aether Tunnel. The other location it can be, which it wasn't in my gameplay, is down here in the swamp next to Quick Revive. And this is the other location it can be in. Whichever one it is, click on that and interact with it. It will then teleport you downstairs where you will see a translucent machine part labelled. This is the Pack-a-Punch machine part, so you'll see this directly next to wherever you teleport put it down into one of the rooms. Grab this part and then head over to now what is labelled the machine, which is the Pack-a-Punch machine. You'll be able to interact with this machine and place the part which you've just picked up into the machine, allowing Pack-a-Punch to become available in your game. And that's it. You've now got Pack-a-Punch unlocked in your game and the power on and you're all set to go for the rest of the game. You'll see once the Pack-a-Punch is open, there is two differences to regular Call of Duty Zombies what has been previously. So you can get ammo mods, which is four different types. There is fire, ice, brain rot and freeze. And then you also have three tiers of Pack-a-Punch. You've got tier one, which is your regular Pack-a-Punch. You've then got tier two, which is increased damage. And then tier three, which is gigantic damage. Tier 3 is going to be super important if you are pushing those high rounds. Now there is a secret easter egg once you've unlocked the Pack-a-Punch machine. If you watch the gameplay which is on screen, these five locations of light then spawn in around the portal room and the Pack-a-Punch room. If you head to the locations which are shown on screen now, they're in the same locations every time but you need a gun that shoots actual bullets. It does work with the rocket launcher, I have tried this, so you can use a rocket launcher too. You're going to want to shoot these lights and what that will then do is activate another dark ether. And this one's a little bit different. So the, the locations are the same every time you play. So make sure you just watch this video through and you'll know where they are. They're always the same and it's always worth doing this in a run of zombies as it does give you some very cool things. So you'll see on here, you will see here on the screen, we are now back into the dark ether. And this loads us through into a very cool little de zombie disco. Um, essentially what happens here is no zombies can attack you regardless of what round you're on, regardless of what stage of the round you're on. Um, these zombies basically dance across. You dance with them for a little while. They do the coffin dance meme. The zombies on the left and bring a box through which contains goodies for the player. You can see here the box. There is a screen on the left of it which has a smiley face on and the colour background is the background of the item rarity you could get from it. So you want to try and get that on the gold if you can, as that gives you a chance at the ray gun. This thing gives you a free gun and a free perk, and that's a cheeky little Easter egg which you can do very easily every game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed the video and you've learned how to turn on the power, how to get pack a punch, and a sneaky little Easter egg thrown in there to get you a free good weapon and a free perk, then make sure you drop a like down below, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel down below for more tips, tricks, and guides coming very, very soon for all things related to Cold War. Thanks for watching, and peace.